And joining us now on Sports Saturday, one of our favorite guests of all time, Scott Davenport, the head coach of the Bellarmine men's basketball team. Scotty, what a week it's been. Anything? What, what happened? Minor announcement. What was it? With uh, your your program moving up to Division One and joining are? the Atlantic Sun. Breaking news it's here been, on Sports it's Saturday. Incredible. It's well, been incredible. Just uh, the entire city of Louisville seemed excited about that move. But what's it like on Bellarmine's campus when you've got a major announcement like that? There was one really really upset student, and she expressed her displeasure with this move. Okay. And I was told this, and I was taken back, thinking, you got to reach out, because she's a senior, and she won't be here when oh. it occurs. I can see it that. It was, and it's, I, I want to thank the people in this community. It's been, it's been incredible. And I think that's perfect, because I've said all along, it will take everyone. Because this is the greatest college athletic town in the country, mm -hmm. community, both sides of the river, surrounding counties. And it's going to take that. I mean, that's how... And then everybody will share in it, which will make it even better. One of the things I think is interesting that you brought that up, the, the idea that you know, these players you know, now might not get to experience playing in Division I, but it, it's taken a long time to build the program to where it is. What has been the reaction from, from some of your former players and the former success that's led up to this? It's, it's honestly, Natalie, hard to talk about it without getting emotional. I was told late Thursday night, and I spent Friday, Saturday, Sunday, parts of Monday, reaching out and speaking to them. Mm -hmm. Former players, former managers, mentors of mine that, yeah. that have shaped my life, but the former players are the reason this happened. Mm -hmm. And out of it, we, are, we opened at home this year, November 8th and 9th, a Friday and a Saturday, against Saginaw and, and Northwood out of, out of Michigan. And I'm bringing my four seniors back. Very cool. Kyle Thrasher, Montonio Blake, Matt Miller and Calvin Fowler because they understand the before and after picture. Mm -hmm. They were at Bellarmine in 04, 05, mm -hmm. won nine games. Then I was hired in the spring of 05. So they started the momentum. But to be able to talk to the players and the former managers and guys that coached me and I coached under and it, it was it was it was incredible. It's hard to put into words. It, it has. It's certainly taken a lot of effort from a lot of people. How big of a dream was this for you and for the administration to take a step like this? Well, that's the group, the other group that deserves all the credit besides the player, the former mm -hmm. players. Not, not the former players just since I've been there, but, you know, the whole history of Bellarmine. Sure. But Dr. Donovan and Scott Weekend and our development team, our alumni team, again, it takes everyone, but to cross every dot every I, research after research after research, <laughs> and to say this is great for everybody involved in Bellarmine, the students, their families, our staff, alumni, the community, they deserve a tremendous amount of credit. I want to ask you, I was watching one of the, the interviews after the announcement was made on Tuesday where somebody asked you, is this going to bring some pressure to the program? And you said, we don't hide from the truth. No. We don't run from the truth. What does this mean in terms of the, the reality of your program now moving forward? And what does this allow you to do taking this kind of step up? Well, it allows you to, to raise the profile of the university, <laughs> first, or first and foremost, and, and of this community. But, you know, we do embrace pressure. It, it's like I tell campers. People say that old slogan, the truth hurts. Uh -huh. No, the truth helps. Yeah. If you have an opportunity to build on your shortcomings or to mm -hmm. take... Our, for example, our basketball program, our university to a new level, mm -hmm. then you embrace the truth. Losers say the truth hurts and they have a pity party. We embrace the truth, raise the expectations, no guarantees, but we're not going to coach any different. Mm -hmm. That's the only one way I know I know to coach. I don't know any other way. Real quick, before, before we wrap up here, uh, anything that people need to know about for your program in July, any camps like that coming up? We do. Just go to BeUnites.com, mm -hmm. go to men's basketball, go to camps. We've got them starting uh, the second week of July and then the last two weeks of July. And you know what that theory is? School hasn't started. Fall sports mm -hmm. has not started. Little League's over. Vacations are over. We need something to there do. You go. We've got it for you. <laughs> That'll certainly keep them busy. We do. Scotty, thank you so much no. for your time. Really appreciate it. And can't wait to see what you guys no, do in the Natalie, I, I appreciate everybody here at this team because when it does take everybody, it, it's, and, and I feel the people in this community have been there every step of the way. So as this journey continues, enjoy the journey. Can't say it better than that. Thank you so much. Thank you.